In this video, I'll talk about the request animation frame method in JavaScript. You must know how request animation frame works because this method can be utilized in a wide variety of interesting things such as creating simple animations, game development, parallax scrolling, graphs and charts, video and audio players and much more. So what is request animation frame? Request animation frame is a way to make animations on web pages or applications look smooth and not laggy. It makes sure that the animation updates 60 frames per second or basically 60 times every second which is a good rate for most devices and browsers. By using request animation frame, we can make sure that the animations look nice and don't cause any performance problems on the user's device. So you might wonder, if request animation frame does something in 60 frames per second, then why not use set timeout with a timer of 16 milliseconds instead since 60 frames per second is 16 milliseconds per frame. Well, you can use set timeout to create animations, but it's not an ideal method because it's not optimized for performance. With set timeout, you specify a time delay between each frame of the animation, which means that the animation will update as fast as the computer can handle. This can lead to potential performance issues because it doesn't take into account the capabilities of the device and browser. On the other hand, request animation frame is optimized for performance because it lets the browser handle the timing of the animation. It updates the animation at a fixed rate of 60 frames per second, which is a good balance between smoothness and performance. This means that animations created with request animation frame will look smooth and won't cause any performance issues on the user's device. Additionally, request animation frame will also pause the animation when the tab or window is not visible, which can save valuable resources on the user's device. So now let's understand request animation frame with an example. The goal here is to animate or move the box for 2 seconds to the right. So in this example, we create a red box using a div element with the id of box. We set the box's initial position to top 50px and left 50px. Then we define the animate function which takes a timestamp parameter that represents the current time. The request animation frame requires a callback function and that's why we pass animate function to it. The request animation frame function is designed to automatically call the callback function which in this case is the animate function and pass in a single parameter timestamp. The timestamp parameter represents the current time when request animation frame starts to execute the callback. This timestamp value is expressed in milliseconds. So in short, the animate function is receiving the timestamp parameter from the request animation frame function which is automatically passed in with each invocation. Inside the animate function, we check if start time has been set yet. If it hasn't, we set it to the current timestamp. Then we calculate the progress of the animation by subtracting start time from the current timestamp. So basically, by using the timestamp parameter, we can calculate the time that has elapsed since the animation started and use it to adjust the animation accordingly. Then, we use progress to update the box's position by setting the left property of the box.style object. These are the values of progress variable during each frame. Dividing each of the progress variable by 10 just ensures that the box moves slowly to the right instead of moving quickly to the right by a large number of px and going beyond the screen. Lastly, we use a conditional statement to check if progress is less than 2000, which represents 2 seconds. If it is, we call the request animation frame again with the animate function as the argument. This creates a loop that updates the box's position every frame until progress reaches 2000. So the box is basically moving every frame and that's what makes it look smooth. Overall, this creates a simple animation where the box moves to the right for 2 seconds and stops somewhere near the 200px mark. The animation looks smooth and doesn't cause any performance issues because we are using request animation frame to optimize the timing. So that's all for this video. You should play around with the request animation frame method and try to create some interesting visuals. If you end up creating something you like, drop the link in the comment section so we can all see it. If you found the video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe and as usual, stay tuned for more.